SSR, the SRRB um, only a few months ago uh, by talking to one of the group members, Gary Meyer, and I did not know I, until, and he said, you should get a veteran SRV. It's much cheaper and um, you can come and go as you please once you get it. And I said, that is cool, but I never read anything about it. So I looked online and it looked like you had to be um, retired from military service, you know, and be an officer. So I spoke to Gary and Gary said, no, that's not true. You just need an honorable discharge and you need to have served and you don't need to have served in the Philippines. So I go, who do I talk to? He goes, well, it's called the PRA. He says, but don't worry. He says, I know a lady who helped me and I'll give her your name and I'll give you her email and you get in touch with her and I'll tell her that you're going to get in touch with her. So I got in touch with her and she was wonderful. She was, um, she did everything from uh, the PRA and she gave me uh, communications, email communications. She told me what I needed to get. I needed to get birth certificate, social security letter, showing my pension, my, uh, my honorable discharge papers. Um, I had to write a letter up about um, listing my mother and father, birthdays, deceased, uh, children, divorced or not divorced, a lot of biological data, and, um, and, I, and I had to go to a police department, and my local police department, this was really actually easy, and have them run my record and get a sheet that showed I was not a felon, and then I had to take that to the Philippine consulate in Detroit, okay. and they uh, authenticated it, and um, once they had all the paperwork, she said, okay, you come to the Philippines now, We'll start your, your paperwork and you can pay the money. And first you said you had to pay the money through a bank, the deposit in the United States. And then she said, just before I left, no problem. You can just write a check here to the bank when you get here. And I got here and she took me to a bank. And I wrote him a check for half of it. And she took me to uh, a doctor's. Uh, I got a doctor's appointment. They did, it was an easy physical. They took x-rays weight, blood pressure, and then we went to the PRA, and I filled out some forms, and then I paid the other half of it in dollars, not even in pesos. So it was very painful. How much? How much was it? It, it total, because of the exchange rate, was less than $3,000. It was like, let's see, it was 15 and, and 14. How much? $2,900. How, how much the agency cost you? And then $500 for the service. So yeah. how is your? So I'd say thirty-five hundred dollars for everything. Okay. So how is your uh, feeling after getting the visa? My feeling right now is I just hit the last stop before heaven. Mm -hmm. I, I love it here. I love the people here. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know I, I, I love my Filipino, mm -hmm. but the culture is great. Mm -hmm. It's more relaxed, mm -hmm. and I don't have to rush, rush, rush. It's a great place to spend my retirement, mm -hmm. and um, I'm gonna get busy and do something. Okay. I have not determined yet. Uh, can you show me a little just your card? Then oh, yeah. everyone will be yeah. inspired sure. by you. <laughs> oh, this yeah. will be a big plaque. No, no, no. Too. Oh, really? I got that, yeah. So, you can hide it like this. This is the SSRB. Yes. SRRB. Okay. SRRB. Okay. Congratulations for your SRRV. SRRV. Yeah. Heads up. Yeah, and you can use it as a discount card if you're a senior. Oh, you also get discount by this card? Yes. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, save like three or four dollars per meal. So what do you want to tell everyone pesos. now? What do you want to tell everyone now? Your just opinion or advice? If, if you are, um, if you're an American and you want to come here, um, find yourself a good woman and be prepared to change yourself okay. but it's okay the process is painless okay and it will work this time if you want it to work okay. and you will you will find your love and you will nothing else will matter okay that's all for you today not, if you don't want those things huh? if you just want to come and party you can go anywhere else in the world um, leave, leave some of these people alone because okay. they don't need it they're, they're good people, and um, I love them. They're uh, like my family now. Okay, thank you.